Biocodex, makers of the original Saccharomyces boulardii Floristore, presents The Pros of Probiotics, a panel discussion of leading experts on the benefits of probiotic supplements. Brought to you by Floristore and Floristore Kids, the number one probiotic worldwide, clinically proven with more than 50 years experience and over 1.7 billion doses taken. In America, you know, we're sort of we're sort of microphobic. We like to have everything and except there's hand washes with we bleach our bathrooms, we practically bleach our kids. Think of it as a barrier effect and it helps prevent colonization of opportunistic disease causing organisms. Very obviously that uh, there are a lot of good bacteria and that we uh, it's, it's a little yeast it's uh, it's a yeast that is different than most of the other probiotics which are bacterial. And it has, it has uh, about 50 years of research being uh, done in most of Today it's actually been tested in, in a wide variety of people, uh, HIV patients that have had chronic diarrhea, patients who are very, very ill in intensive care units. Uh, there have been more and more studies, clinical trials on humans, using yeast, using specifically Saccharomyces, the yeast. And I, as a practicing gastroenterologist, have come to the conclusion that yeast is, in fact, good. Uh, Saccharomyces boulardii has perhaps uh, one of the best records for randomized controlled trials, which is kind of our gold standard of how we test things in science. And of uh, 40 randomized controlled trials, Saccharomyces boulardii was effective at 80%. And so our North American colleagues conclude also that in antibiotic-associated diarrhea, and in clostridium difficile disease in children, there is great one scientific evidence that means the highest scientific evidence. In uh, half of the cases, 50%, Biopodex was not involved in the development of the clinical trial. So it means that it's independent clinical trials. Hi, I'm Rob Eater. You're watching Drugstore News TV. I'm here on site at the Pros of Probiotics event presented by Floristore. I'm lucky enough to have a moment with Nicholas Couturier, Mary Berry, and Martin Keene, all of Floristore, to talk a little bit about probiotics and, and why retailers need to know more about them. Um, what, what, so what are probiotics? What, what, what should retailers know about all this? Well, basically they're live microorganisms that offer a health benefit. Why do people need to be concerned about pri probiotics and, and incorporating probiotics into their diets? Can, can any of you help me with that? Well, it's because when your intestinal balance becomes uneven, you want to find some way to bring it back to its normal side. And probiotics can be very effective at doing that. Okay, and, and why supplements? I mean, can't, can't people get probiotics from the foods that they eat? Or? Not normally. They, they wouldn't know the amount either that would be in the food. I don't think all foods have been tested for things like probiotics because they're kind of new and innovative in the U.S. There are things like yogurt, though, that naturally have them in, but that's only becoming commonplace knowledge for the general public right now. And, and what about kids? I mean, we're, we've been talking a lot about adults today. I know that Floristore has a, a, a kid's... Uh, product. So what about, uh, is this something that kids need to be worried about too? Or? Well, certainly parents with children need to start thinking about probiotics. They're a relatively safe thing, you know, so they're great for children. And now there are a few probiotics that have special kids formulations. But where it's really good for is when you take your child with maybe, you know, otitis media, ear infection, and the pediatrician puts your child on a probiotic. Uh, sorry, I mean an antibiotic. This is when you would recommend a probiotic with something like Augmentin because it will help prevent the diarrhea and keep the patient on the antibiotic. So for children especially with preventing antibiotic-associated side effects, a probiotic like Floristore is the best one to choose. And, and here's really for our audience, I mean, this is really the trillion-dollar question. We're, we're talking to a, an audience of retail pharmacists. So why is the drugstore a, a, the perfect destination for a supplement? like uh, like Floristore, a probiotic supplement like Floristore, why is the drugstore the right place? Because of the science involved. I mean, Floristore is a unique probiotic. It has a 50-year history of not only safety, but clinical research. And from a pharmacist's perspective, Floristore is a product that can bring you closer to your patient. 
It can solve a patient's problem. It can uh, probably take care of an issue that most people don't want to talk about. I have a very close relationship with my patients in the community pharmacy I have in New York, and I find that they were very hesitant to speak about diarrhea. I was surprised how hesitant they were. We put our first signs out about it, and it was amazing the communication that we started. We solved people's problems that we didn't even know had chronic diarrhea. They had given up on the traditional treatments like loperamide, and I have had a huge success rate in recommending it to people. But more importantly, prior to viewing Fluorostore, I thought most probiotics were made in some guy's garage in a tub. But it's not true. This is a scientifically based product made to pharmaceutical standards. And I think a pharmacist can offer that reassurance to their patient. When they walk into a health food store, they have many fine products, but they don't have the educated staff that can help you. You can rely on a pharmacist's knowledge to know when it's appropriate for you to use a probiotic, when it's not appropriate, what your medication base is. It's just about building the patient-pharmacist relationship. And, and on, along those lines, uh, what types of patients should pharmacists be looking for to talk to about this? Well, I, I think antibiotic patients on antibiotics, because it's so effective against antibiotic-associated diarrhea, uh, patients getting ready to go on vacation because it's effective for travelers' diarrhea, patients who have IBS, the diarrhea variant, they have constant problems. It's very safe. It's good for long-term use. It's very effective. Uh, in consultation with your doctor, there are other medical conditions, such as clostridium difficile-induced diarrhea, uh, inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, and there might even be some uh, scientific research that emerges for other disease states. It's a constantly evolving field, and it's something that a pharmacist can use their unique knowledge base. We understand that Fluorostore is marketed all over the world in, in, in many, many countries, and, and, and in most countries it's marketed as a drug. Here in the U.S., of course, and in Canada, it's marketed as a dietary supplement, but we do at the same time understand you presented some clinical findings to FDA. Can you talk to our viewers a little bit about what's involved with that? Sure. So to, to, to clarify, basically we're registered as a drug in 85 countries throughout the world, Europe, Latin America, Asia. And uh, in America, even though we are registered as a dietary supplement, we want to market the product as we do in other countries. Therefore, we are backed up with science, clinical studies. We have a specific sales force calling on doctors, pediatricians, gastroenterologists. And as Martin mentioned, we really sell it only in pharmacies because we want to make sure that the pharmacy stocks uh, to its patient about the drug. So uh, this being said, we have a dossier which is uh, before FDA, waiting for FDA comments, questions, and as anywhere else in the world, we will answer this question and looking for a, for a future registration. Great. And last question, what do our viewers need to do if they want to learn more about Floristore? How do they get in touch with you folks? Uh, well, that's a nice, easy question, Rob. They go to sbouladi.com, which is S-B-O-U-L-A-R-D-I-I.com, and all the clinical information is there that they would need. Oh, terrific. Well, I'm Rob Ader. These are the folks from Biocodex. You can look for Floristore coming to a chain drugstore near you real soon. Keep watching Drugstore News TV.